Okay, um, good day, sir. Now, um, there are some questions I would love to ask you. Um, from me, so I'll be asking something. Um, this issue about putting phone in the pocket. Yeah, because there's an incident that actually occur a time like that where a person was charging his phone and the phone was in the pocket with a power bank, by the way, and it actually exploded. So I would love you to actually maybe give us a breakdown on understand why it is actually or well, what the cost was understand about putting phone in the pocket and something like that so we we'll actually love to know sir yes greetings everyone i think it has become a usual practice very common in the environment seeing so many people just placing mobile phones in the pockets i i think or we think this act is ideally not encouraging well friends if you must know which you already know even without using the phone for a series of activities it is naturally emitting heat and what we refer to as radiation and you will agree with us each time many applications are um, on the phone heats up excessively some may even go on shutting down friends uh, we, we want you to know that the cause of this, uh, it, is, it has become very, very common to the scientific world to discourage such acts of placing phones in the pocket. Oh, okay, these, okay, so sorry, wait, you mean because of the radiation with the phone in our pocket, that's what is actually causing... In fact, we, okay. are, we are heading to that. The radiation has the capacity to do a lot of damage to normal cells in the body. Let okay. us not forget... Uh, many classes of food that we know include carbohydrate, proteins, fats and oil, vitamins and minerals. Now, let us extract uh, the protein among these classes of foods. We were told before now from basic sciences, especially in chemistry, that proteins as a class of food is naturally denatured. And when we say denatured, it is destroyed in terms of its biological activity or effectiveness by certain factors and some of these factors include heat, acids, bases, certain metals and some other agents in the environment. Now, when heat is the focus here, then you will agree with us that when we place phones in our pockets, uh, the heat and radiation emitted by uh, these phones may likely penetrate through the pores of our skins and then get into our bodies to cause certain damages. But before we uh, look at the damage to the human person, with respect to the explosion noticed by uh, the individual charging the phone, placing it in the pocket, may also be likened to that. There is build-up of heat, no escape route for this heat. And so uh, the next effect would be explosion. So if that is the situation, then it becomes very discouraging to see people putting phones in their pocket and not expect something awkward as well to happen to uh, their bodies. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I love the explanation. I said it got clear. Um, so, so I have another one um, about smoking. Understand? Because I feel like a lot of people have no um, or don't really understand the effect of smoking or. Even though they actually they've they've been given um, the result of smoking, understand probably tobacco, uh, they they don't still understand. How I put it, they don't, they don't still adhere to understand the the results that have been given of smoking those this tobacco weed something. Like. So I would love you to actually break down, understand on your own point of view on that. Yes, but before I go ahead to talk about this tobacco, let me just quickly draw my point on the excessive uh, placing or phones in the pocket. The okay. major challenge is that once this heat energy released or radiation released by the phone gets into the system, it destroys sperm cells, especially when the phones are in the pocket. Okay. Simply because uh, the heat, the sperm cells are proteinous in nature. They, are, they contain proteins and we know that heat denatures protein, destroys protein, thereby destroying its biological activity. So each time we place phones in our pocket, over time, let us not be surprised that some of us may, be, may become impotent simply because of the excessive heat that may have accumulated around our uh, sperm sacs and then uh, our testes rather, and then affect the sperm cells there. And for the women who place this phone in their, in their bras when they sell, oh, excuse me, let me put the phone in my bra and attend to customers, 
over time there may be what we call uncontrolled breakdown of cells and the net consequence would be the generation of malignant tumor which eventually leads to what we refer to as cancerous cells so when we hear breast cancer if you go back and trace well you may discover that it's actually or was actually caused by the placing of phones in the bra eventually and now let us address the issue of excessive consumption of tobacco well friends from what science revealed to us tobacco when consumed the smoke is usually rich in carbon 2 oxide and this gas is one though um, very good in the industry but in the environment very detrimental science of uh, true chemistry has revealed to us that carbon 2 oxide or what we refer to as carbon monoxide has stronger effect for the pigment in the blood we call the hemoglobin once it is bound to the hemoglobin it readily displaces oxygen and once the system the bloodstream is saturated with uh, carbon 2 oxide the hem, hem co is a very dangerous uh, uh, mixture in the blood so eventually uh, saturation of this hem co in the bloodstream that moves around the body eventually leads to death so we hereby discourage strongly those who consume excessive uh, tobacco or even cannabis and all other um, sub chemical substances which we may refer to as hard drugs capable of releasing this carbon two oxide because it is very very health unfriendly okay. i think that is the major challenge okay okay uh, yeah wow that's that's amazing actually i was able to actually um i would say understand some something from that breakdown you just gave okay um uh, talking about excess consumption i'm still on that excess consumption talking about alcohol i don't know if you can still also give us a breakdown because a lot of people are actually consuming alcohol like big time now this 21st century i don't know understand so i would actually love you to actually maybe um throw some light on the excessive consumption of alcohol also yes thank you very much for that privilege we know that alcohols uh, if we look at the origin they are organic compounds as well and when we say organic they are basically deri derived from either plants or animal sources and naturally we want to say god has been so kind to create alcohols which we have used in industries especially from a school industries to generate drugs you don't forget when you hear the word paracetamol it has a rhythm that almost correlates with that of alcohols the end part ol paracetamol alcohol so you see that alcohols are necessary for the body because they are also medicinal we need them but not in the quantity we consume them in many uh, restaurants or beer parlors. People take alcohols as though they have become real foods that we should consume. Let this message be sent out that excessive consumption of alcohol is exactly what we are discouraging. Simply because an alcohol ideally is a stimulant. But this stimulant, once we take it, a lot of people believe it helps us to become very active. No, it in fact becomes a depressant eventually. Simply because it has the capacity once taken in excessive uh, amounts to destroy the activities of enzymes in the liver and eventually results into what we call liver cirrhosis, C I W R H O S I S. That is a disease condition of the liver whereby it experiences shrinkage or reduction in size as a result of excessive consumption of alcohol. Oh, okay. And besides that, oh. friends, uh, we also have the challenge of high blood pressure. When the blood begins to flow beyond the normal rate, we refer to that as high blood pressure or hypertension. And that has also been triggered by excessive consumption of alcohol. And not the least, the, the mind also is strongly affected affected by excessive consumption of alcohol because it has the ability to cause the brain cells to begin to work abnormally and this is exactly what eventually sets in depression when we have too many of it in our systems and as a pilot experiment or trial experiment we may also add that alcohol causes quick aging and if you must confirm this take a raw meat which has a lot of water in it and place it in a in an absolute alcohol, when we use the word absolute alcohol, we are saying an alcohol, alcohol that has little or no water in it. Once you place a raw meat in it, you discover that a piece of raw meat, you discover that over time the raw meat shrinkages in size 
due to the loss of water to the alcohol, which eventually leads to what we refer to as dilution of the alcohol. So we see that the same way, if we consume excessive alcohol into our systems, many cells in distant tissues and organs will eventually lose their water contents and eventually shrink in size. The net effect is dehydration of the overall human system leading to quick aging. So friends, let this be discouraged that we don't want people to grow old on time, even at tender ages, simply because they are taken to the tradition of excessive consumption of okay, alcohol. Okay. Even though we know that alcohol is also good for our system, but in moderate or small quantities. That is what we are promoting. Okay, okay, wow, nice. Okay, so I'm sorry, sir, I would love to ask one last question. Um, <clears throat> um, about taking cold water, I don't know, Maybe you you just finish eating a food. Uh, people love cold water very well, mostly okay. in this part of Africa where it's very very hot. Okay. Understand? So um, I don't know. I don't know what you can say about maybe take too much of taking cold water if it has any maybe effects that can actually cause probably anything that is act that might actually dis understand disorganize our body okay. or any organ in our body something like that so uh, i don't know if you can actually talk on that sir uh, yes friends very very briefly god in his wisdom has made the bloodstream to exist naturally at a temperature of about 36.9 degrees celsius to a maximum of 43 degrees celsius which science has actually found to be true but we have discovered that Many a time when we consume water, which is not room temperature water, when we say room temperature water, water of about 25 degrees Celsius, we discover that this blood may eventually experience lower temperatures than the expected value. And one of the factors that may lead to drop in the temperature of the bloodstream drastically below the expected value is consumption of very cold water. When we talk about cold water, we are looking at water that whose temperature is very, very low. And this is water that is often taken from the refrigerator. So they say, yes, I am really, really tasty. I need to be hydrated. Let me take cold water. But we are saying excessive consumption of cold water is not good for the system. But simply because once we take too much of cold water, it has the ability to drop the blood temperature below the expected value. And one of the consequences is the risk a outcome of uh, uh, pneumonia conditions simply because uh, we have ex exposed the blood cells to temperatures that are not ideal. Let us not forget. Yes, some may argue that cold water has a lot of oxygen since gases dissolve more readily in uh, at lower temperatures. But we also know that room temperature water has relatively high amount of oxygen and so once we consume more of room temperature water we are allowing the body temperature to be much more in that normal condition than abnormal condition than it may be exposed to by very cold water so let it be told that the essence of discouraging the consumption of cold water as a practice is simply because it has the capacity to drop body temperature below the usual value that can expose people to diseased conditions. Let us always appreciate room temperature water, which is the water we just get and consume without necessarily putting it in the refrigerator because it also has dissolved oxygen in it and also promoting life on and on in the society. Okay. The Thank you. So, so sorry. Are you are you saying that we should not take cold water, or we, are, we, sh we, sh we should not take it excessively? We we should not continuously even take it. Okay. Let it be occasionally. Let us take more of room temperature water. I think that is what the system needs because that helps the body temperature to be normalized. But with cold water, the body temperature may drop below the expected value, and that may expose us to disease conditions okay. that's exactly what we are talking about okay so um thank you so i appreciate your breakdown um to all the questions they actually ask so um i appreciate so in summary uh, and let it be recapped that we are discouraging the placing of phones in the pocket simply because of the radiations and heat that may eventually be released and then cause damages to yeah. stem cells and other cells in the body and for the sperm cells leading to impotency yeah. and also we are saying let there be discouragement of excessive consumption of alcohol simply because of the many consequences that are attached to it and also 
that people must not consume uh, uh, cigarettes simply because of the carbon two oxide or carbon monoxide that it may release into a bloodstream and then begin to replace oxygen which is the vital air needed for survival and then lead to eventual death and also we are saying that we should discourage the you continuous practice of consuming very cold water taken from refrigerators but rather go on the diet of room temperature water because this form of what pure water helps to promote life more and more on on earth so we want to believe that um, some of these questions uh, we may have gotten challenges in our mind yeah yeah we've sure already gotten people to assist us in uh, explaining why we should not do what we may have been doing so if this uh, interaction has been very friendly to us let us uh, like and share and also subscribe to our youtube channel and go ahead and follow us up on our facebook and instagram pages still we come your way again when we shall be looking at other environmental uh, sciences uh, concerns continue to remain focused thank you